Welcome to another game of Catan. Today we are playing very fast mode, uh, casual gameplay, and looking at the board, I like the 8510, solid amount of ore, brick and wood, and I like being on the brick here because there's very little of it. Let's see, is there anything else that makes sense here? Obviously the 569 for production, maybe a road up to the 109, kind of risky though. Also, not a ton of wheat on this board either. Possible outs that could be open is a 9 to 10. So yeah, I think I will take this. I think it's really strong being on the strongest brick here on this board. Especially because there's a lot of wood. Now do we want to point our road right or left? It's tempting to point it right, to be honest. I think we will. We were cutting that really close. But I'm going to point it right here because I have a feeling we might need to get on sheep, especially if we take the 2910, for example. But there's always a shot that whoever takes the 569 cuts us off. So definitely a worry. But if the 569 gets taken, that means they would have to take the 61112 as their second placement, which isn't that great. So I don't know if someone wants to risk it just to take this 109 spot, but we'll see. Obviously, the pointing the road up is the safest bet here. But the more I think about it, pointing it up, you could get a T and uh, get a settlement on the 8 and a settlement on the 10. And that's a more efficient way to use roads, so maybe I should have considered pointing up a little bit more here. I was just worried about getting on sheep on this board. But second position takes 6, 9, 4, which is fine here. I don't really like the expansion onto the 6 that much. And that ore port's not going to be super useful unless he manages to get on the 10 as well. Third position, I assume, takes this 5, 8, 10 here. And then they have, they'll have a lot of solid second placements here as well. You could also consider the 3, 4, 8 and then go up, snagging this 3 to 1 possible wood port here. Now let's see if Blue tries to race us. Okay, he does not. It's a good sign. And I think this 10-9 will stay open here. Now, fourth position, you have these 8s, these coordinated 8s. So I think you definitely take the 5-8-10, 3-4-8, no questions asked. And then you point your road up, get that wood port, maybe even eventually get onto the 6, but having coordinated 8s here is really powerful. In fact, if we have the option to get on the 384, that very well be could be a uh, move for us. 384 probably gets taken, though. Surprised that he's not just swiping this 5810, but it looks like, yeah, he's running out of time. Bot picks the 5810, though. <laughs> Sometimes the bot knows what's up. I think that's a good placement. He might have left. So let's see where the bot places the road. Places it right. I think that's maybe a mistake. 3, 3 11, 10 could be open here. Kind of doubtful though. Especially because if we have the opportunity, we would take the 9, 10, 11. But let's see. Bot. bot will always place on the highest production spot by default. So here we have 10 pips. Let's see. 9 pips here on the 9, 11, 10. Another 10 pips, 8, 3, 4. So either places 8, 3, 4. Okay, looks like he came back. And he's placing on the 3, 6, 11. No, it's not bad. Yeah, and Blue swipes up that 3, 4, 8. Great spot for him. Now, if Blue or if Red lets us, we're, we're definitely going to take that 4, 11, 5 going down to the 9, 10, 11. I'm sure, though, Red takes one of those spots. Probably the 4, 11, 5 here. Takes that free road, in which case we'll take the 9, 10, 11, and we'll point our road left. I guess we could also take this 3, 8, 4. Ooh, the 3, 8, 4 looks really good. That's very tempting. Yes, yeah, so we have a lot of pretty good options here. If red takes the 3, 8, 4, then 
I'm very happy with the 4, 5, 11 going down to the 9, 10, 11. And it, let's see, and it makes a lot of sense for red too. He would be producing quite a bit of wood though with no 3 to 1 port, so. Wow. Did not expect that at all. Okay, so we have some options here. I kind of want to take this free road and go down to the 9, 10, 11. I know I said I liked being on the coordinated eights here, and I stand by that, but it is a slight risk to um, point up into the left. But we also have this sheep port here too, which looks really good. Problem is we're not going to be on any wheat, so I don't know how much I really like that here. We do give black a really solid second placement on the 834 and then eventually the sheep port. Ah, that's tough. I still think I like this more though. Let me know in the comments though if you think differently here. I really like starting with the, the road. Hurting blue, giving us a solid second settle on the 9-11-10. We just have a lot of like very flexible setup here too. Blue already going for dev cards here, which makes sense. It's gonna be tough for him to get the city though. I do have to be weary of him cutting us off to the 10-9. That would make a lot of sense for him. In fact, I think we might even place a road before we place our settlement if we have to. But the 8 hasn't rolled. I don't think the 5 has rolled either. So we'll have to keep tabs on what's rolling. 4's rolled a lot. Okay, 8's now rolled. If the 5 rolls, we're definitely going to place the road down on the 10-9. Just to protect that spot. Makes a lot of sense for blue to snag it. And blue has one road in hand. Almost tempting to 4 for 1 our ore. But... I don't want to act too rash here. Okay, I think we're going to seal from blue to start just to defend that spot. I know black's probably in a better position, but... Oh, when we get the ore, that's not what we wanted. It is really tempting to 4 for 1 our ore here. I think we will. I, I think it's really... It'd be really unfortunate if blue snags that spot. We don't have any wheat to really help our ore set up here. I think we get robbed probably at the five. But he steals from blue. He probably wanted the ore. Red's getting probably close to his city. I'm not sure about Red's placement up top there on just the brick. There are so many really good placements. But I, I've learned <laughs> playing this game that I can't criticize too much. I've seen some crazy setups win this game. Okay, Red with the city. Definitely want to get that five unblocked as soon as possible. And blue mono's the wood. That eight roll has rolled out quite a bit. Where is he going to expand to? Oh, okay, he's going to cut red off at the wood port. That's a play. It'll keep him more flexible. Kind of happy that he used the mono there. Didn't steal anything from us. Now I think the 8 brick probably gets blocked here. Oh, or the 4. Yeah, 4 makes a lot of sense. And he steals from red. Interesting. Let's see if we can get wood or sheep. Yeah, we got the sheep. We'll just wait on the wheat. 
Do have to be careful of red here. He can road settle on the 2 9 10, which would not be bad. Oh, that's tough. He got the road builder. It's definitely one of the worst case scenarios. And now we really need to get on this 2 9 10 here. Road building is such a solid card to get off at the beginning as well. But this game's far from over. I still like our setup. Now, blue does have a lot of the wheat, but I also don't want red to... I think red has wheat too, though. We'll even do two, two cards for it. We need to get on this wheat. Didn't like trading with red, but. Oh. That could have been a mistake. We just need the wood now, though. Red also is on the three to one. That could have been a mistake. He needs two wheat. It would make a lot of sense for your our opponents here to feed this to, to red. Because the 2 9 10 helps us way more than it helps red. But thankfully, red runs out of time. We really need the 5 to roll, and it does. Okay, that's good. Definitely going to sell here on this 2 9 10. Now let's just pray that black does not have a road builder. I'm a little surprised he's not going to the sheep port right away. Red really should not have traded us there, by the way, a couple turns ago, even though he got two cards. I probably shouldn't have made that trade because assuming he was making that trade because it was giving him the settlement. That's a bad trade, but thankfully he didn't have enough for the settlement, so he still got the 2 9 10. But red's in a tough spot. I still like where we are at, though. Once we settle on the 9 10 2, that'll look really good. Okay, we do make this trade with blue, which gives him a city. So it was a three-card trade. If we get the settlement out of it, I think it's worth it. Oh, and he takes our wheat. I'm a little surprised the five gets blocked, though. Blue is ahead, but we definitely have solid long-term potential. Hopefully our sheep doesn't get taken here. Now blue is also complete competing against black for army. But no, he places it on the nine, steals from us. Black places his settlement. Has to four for one his sheep. Which we like to see. He also plays the aggressive knight, which I'm happy about. Takes it off our nine. Puts it on our eight. We have plenty of brick. And he does steal from blue here. So I'm very happy about that. He probably has a second knight because he played the aggressive knight. He's obviously going for army. I don't want a 4 for 1 because our 8's blocked, so we're just going to pass here. Now 
another five, a lot of roads in hand. This might be a time that we snag road a little bit earlier, just because I think we'll be able to keep it, and blue has a lot of incentive to try to cut us off between this four five. Then again, I think even with that being the case, we could still take road. So maybe I'm not actually that worried about that. We can just extend our road down to this 2-5. Another 5 hits. We'll probably just 4 for 1 our wood for our wheat. And then get on this 10-9. Not the best block by black, though, by the way. Because the five had just rolled out quite a bit, so really no one here needs wood. So we do have the city, but I think I'd rather get the settle here. And let's see, do we want to just continue our road down to the 2-5? I think so. This will put a little bit more of a target on our back, I think. But I, I feel pretty good about keeping road here. And once again, blue can just try to cut us off across the four or five, but He's kind of lacking space, so even if he does that, it doesn't really give him a better, doesn't put him in a better position. We might just get a dev card here as well, by the way, unless we uh, roll wood. I guess we might as well ask for it. It doesn't hurt to be on some more resources here. Blue accepts the trade. So yeah, we'll put another settle on the 2-5. We're not really going for an army at this point, so I didn't see a ton of benefit in getting the dev card here. Plus a lot of the fun cards like road building, monopolies have already been played, so high chance we get a knight here. Maybe a VP though. We do have to be careful though. We're, we are only on five roads. And I think Blue's probably at 8 here, because he hasn't played that dev card in a while. Which means we should probably place some roads down. Because all he would need is four or two more roads. Okay, we're definitely going to be stealing from blue here. We get the sheep. Unfortunately, I think we are going to have to three for one our ore for wood. Just to prevent blue from sneaking the win with road. Not what we wanted to do, but... Otherwise, blue just places two roads and he takes the dub. And he's on the eight and the five as well. And the six.
Okay, another five hits. Okay, that was just a knight, so we're okay. And he puts it on the eight. So he's probably wanting to fight now for army. This also means no VPs have been pulled. So that's important to note here as well. I think the eight's a much better block by uh, black. Okay, blue's two roads away, but I think we could still catch back up to him. I don't think there's a scenario where he road settles, or road road settles, I mean. So we'll three for one for the wheat. And then just pass. Now red probably should block blue here. 10's fine, and he steals from us. Now it would be nice to connect across this 4-8 just to be, just to be safe. Puts it back on the five. And he steals from blue again. So now black's at seven. Black looks pretty good here as well. Especially if he can city up this five, ten, eight. He's also not that far away from road either. Let's see if anyone has the wood they'll trade us. Otherwise, I think we're just going to place another road to be safe. Oh, and we ran out of time. That's unfortunate. He declined the trade at the last second. That burned us. So we tried to accept it, but by that time it was already declined. Super close game, though. I really wish we could have had that trade just so we could not worry about getting our road taken from us. Yeah, because I imagine blue has enough to take road at this point. That gives him nine. He honestly could have the win right here. Black really should have just let us have that trade. Considering blue had so many uh, cards on him. So I think that's probably GG. Oh no, he's going for dev cards? He has eight cards left. Oh no, I think he has it. I guess he didn't have it. <laughs> that was really lucky. We are going to have to be road bitch, though. It's also very possible that Blue's sitting on a VP. Kind of have to do this just to keep road to make sure blue doesn't take it. But blue at 16 cards. I don't know. He probably has a VP too. I'm not sure how we never got cities here. I mean, we're on a lot of city resources. 
I know we three for one our or pretty early on or four for one it. Yep, and that's GG. Tough game. Tens didn't roll out a ton, but besides that, it was pretty even. Sixes and eight rolled a lot, nines rolled a lot, sevens rolled a lot. Yeah, I think we had put too much focus on maintaining our road, and and I think our, our resources were just blocked at very important times, and we kept getting stolen from. But I do think we were a threat, for sure, early on. But I'm wondering what would have happened had we have taken the 8 and had coordinated 8s here. Now, the problem with this setup is that we don't have any wheat. So, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think that would have changed the outcome of this game. I definitely thought we were going to do a little bit better here, but... It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.